What is up ladies and gentles, Four Eyes in here coming at you, coming through today with a best settings video. Hopefully these settings will help you go from a noob to a pro, but maybe not a pro, at least you'll get a little better, right guys? So here I want to start off with Fidelity FX Cast, so follow along and go to the graphics tab with me and scroll down. Um, this is manually turned off or automatically turned off once you boot up the game for some reason this setting does not save and i want you to turn it on for some reason this might be placebo i talked about how i would get latency variation and packet burst every time i have this turned on i don't get latency variation or packet burst so it's interesting next is depth of field turn this off so you don't have that blurry sensation depth of field is also one of the two settings um that will be turned off and fidelity fx cast will be turned off for some reason they don't save so you have to manually do them so i'm telling you that right now and for weapon motion blur please turn it off world motion blur turn it off all motion blur turn it off and then camera movement go to least which is 50 percent and then for field of view um i play on 107 I'm probably going to go down to 100 FOV when League Play or a Ranked Mode comes in because, yeah, you don't really want a high FOV for competitive, but I would recommend anywhere from a 90 at the lowest or the minimum and going, you can go all the way up to 120. That's what I recommend, but I just personally play on 107. That's the sweet spot for me. But again, this is a preference thing, but I don't recommend anything under 90. Uh, moving on to ads field of view go to affected independent used to be at least pretty decent but here in vanguard independent has so much more visual recoil compared to affected so go play on effective in color customization it's just like cold war you can change the color that you want like for here's an example like look i can change my arrow to light blue but i like to keep it pink or your team color can be green and your flags don't have to be blue and red. You know, you can change it to whatever you want, but this is mainly preference. I think this is a good touch that they brought back from Cold War. For brightness, you have to adjust your settings because um, it depends on your monitor too or, not, or the screen you're playing, but I have it at 55. I don't like to go any higher than 55. And obviously I have 120 Hertz refresh rate because I play on the PS5, but it depends if whatever, if you're on PlayStation or if you're on a PC, this will go higher. So you want as high of a refresh rate as you can. But going back into our controller settings, these are mainly preference. My horizontal stick sensitivity is eight and eight. Um, I've always been able to play at a decently high sensitivity because I used to be a sniper in the beginning, but then when I went to a reg gunner, I had to slow down. But if you're a noob and you're just starting, I would recommend anything probably about a two all the way to a six or a seven two to seven anything about there as long as you can control it guys don't try to have the fastest sensitivity a high sensitivity does not mean you'll be a better player okay so don't max out your sensitivity i will say if you are a sniper snipers usually tend to play at a higher sense so they can flick so yeah i play on eight but if you're a newer player i recommend anything between a two and a seven for all of these other sensitivities for vehicles, I don't really touch them. For my ADS sensitivity multiplier, I play on 0.9. The standard's one, but I personally play on 0.9. It's sad that you can't go like, you can't have an accurate setting where like in Modern Warfare 2019, you can be like 0 0.95, 0 0.93. And yeah, we can't do that. But here for a custom sensitivity, I haven't touched this yet. But the last time I was sniping on 4x and 8x zoom, I usually like to be on 1.17. That's what I have on Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019. So I'll probably change that once I get into the sniper rifle camo grind. For button layouts, I have default flipped with my triggers being L1, R1 instead of L2, R2. Mainly for weapons that are semi-auto, I think it's easier. And for vertical aim, all of these... I have it all on standard. And moving on to something that is big is aim response curve. Ever since dynamic was introduced, I have been playing on dynamic. A lot of pros swear on dynamic and I continue on playing it from Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War, and now in Vanguard. But all of these are 
all really good it's just up to your playstyle and preference but mine is dynamic so moving on to controller vibration i have that off i don't want to be jump scared trigger effect off weapon fire threshold off and then all of these i pretty much haven't touched and this is very important i want you to turn your l2 and r2 minimum input dead zone to zero and your left min input dead zone and right stick dead zone will be different okay you have to go into a private match and move your stick and see if it moves or not by itself and that's how you will have it but mine is on four and four and it's dif it's different on every controller guys so don't just copy my setting for these for my left stick and max input dead zone usually it's stuck on 99 but you can move it up to 100 and that's what i recommend you do and now we're gonna move on to the gameplay with target aim assist i have it on black ops um, default and black ops are pretty much the same i don't know i can't tell the difference but i just liked the aim assist on black ops so that's why i have it on there make sure you have aim assist on and yeah that's pretty much it with this actually okay this is a big one right here and shout out to optic dashi i saw him do this on stream so what you guys want to do for this airborne mantle is put it onto partial and turn off grounded mantle or grounded mantle and automatic ground mantle because if you do a slide cancel and the inputs are the same which is slide slide jump you will actually like jump at the end so when you turn this off it's the slide cancel is way more consistent that's what i found out with this setting so if you like slide canceling change it to these settings so you can slide cancel without having a miss input and have this on automatic sprint okay automatic sprint is interesting i played automatic tactical sprint back in modern warfare 2019 but this was g8 and competitive so that's why i have it off and i'm trying to practice with it off if it's un g then i will probably go back to automatic tax sprint but yeah i actually like that one tap new setting they have on warzone where you can just one click on it one tap on your controller and it'll tax sprint right away auto move forward i have it on off you can do this i guess if you want to be like afk you just quit but you want the exp um, you can turn it on whatever setting you want sprint cancels reload yes i love it you can shave off time and if you just want to break the reload you have 15 bullets left and some guy runs in front of you while you're reloading you can do that so that's why i have it there sprinting door bash on slide behavior on tap so you can slide cancel tap tap jump very quickly sprint i have toggle aim down sight hold equipment hold steady aim hold automatic hold interact hold and then toggle yep and for audio i don't have music volume i think it's kind of annoying sometimes and dialogue volume i kind of like to turn this down but i like hearing the call outs from the guy he tells me if there's like a spy plane or dogs coming all of that good stuff hit marker sound effects i have vanguard audio mix i have headphones it's weird i kind of miss like the high boost like low boost treyarch mix all of that so it's kind of interesting kill streak music on voice chat all of that yeah that's pretty much it for my settings um you guys can also turn on your server latency and packet loss so you guys can see where if you're lagging or not mini map shape is should be square because that was always the best thing crosshair bobbing off turn this off by the way mini map rotation on yeah those are basically my settings let me know if you guys like these settings videos and other than that namaste my friends and i will talk to you all next time